Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Monday, the 23rd of April. So we're starting off with the Euro dollar and well, uh, we, we saw or have seen a bit of a pivot swing put in there on a daily perspective, but however, um, <laughs> Every time we seem to be selling off a little bit here, we push back towards the uh, monthly pivot. We'll see how we go at the moment. It's got lower highs, lower lows sitting through um, from last week. Uh, as we broke down there, ran into its uh, uh, monthly S1, uh, sorry, weekly S1. Where to today? Well, we've got the, the uh, weekly pivot above us, so there is the potential for it to retrace, and that 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 ties in perfectly with the monthly pivot. So anything that starts, if it starts breaking this uh, 6021 area, we've got the daily pivot untouched above as well. So there is that potential for it to push up towards that sort of level. Now, uh, just uh, news news for today as we're talking the euro um, it's probably the only news coming out today of any real significance uh, um, is the uh, French and German manufacturing PMI so uh, the purchasing managers index uh, due out this morning 8 and 8.30 French and German uh, manufacturing services and services so uh, they can give a bit of volatility this morning. We've got the overall figure at 9 o'clock, which tends to give less volatility because the German and French numbers are the main numbers to be looking for. So uh, we'll say, see how we go there. It's 7.43. First one comes out at 8. That's the French data. Uh, and then 8.30. So um, maybe it'll give us a bit of a pointer. Maybe not. At the moment, as I say, things look technically bearish. Okay. But statistically, we've got some numbers to go out above. <laughs> right, looking at the pound. The pound, well, um, it got a bit of a kick in last week. In the last uh, couple of days, there, it just carried on pushing, selling off. It's just bouncing off its monthly pivot at the moment and, again, has a weekly pivot above. So let's just see whether this, this bounce can turn into anything significant. It's already caught the daily pivot here. It does look weak, but the, the whole thing it looks weak both ways. <laughs> it doesn't look particularly uh, bearish at the moment, but uh, we could see a rollover. I think if we start breaking through this uh, monthly pivot, we could see a continuation run through. Friday's uh, volatility was a lot less. There's no news out on it today unless we get any suspicious sus speakers. Sus speakers. I don't know what suspects. Probably suspects coming out. But any speakers either. Um, if you've got any speakers coming out, maybe um, they, they'll uh, create some volatility in these markets. Uh, looking for that upside, really, if it gets back above the daily pivot, there is the potential. Um, that 50 MA that sits at a 60 minute 50 has been tested a couple of times. Uh, there's a possibility. Any, any, any good news this week may get back to that week, weekly pivot. It was a struggle coming down to it last week. Um, but... Uh, it may be a struggle pushing back up for it this week, and if it, it'll see how it uh, rolls. But uh, at the moment, I'm erring on the more bearish side. But we'll, as I say, I need to see how things develop this morning, particularly. Dolly yen. Well, the dollar yen's been uh, pushing up slowly, gradually, uh, edging back up, uh, maybe towards that uh, daily 100 there, just over around about 109. It's uh, its days are quite tightly uh, uh, pinched each day um, we, we have broken through the prior highs there now it's uh, and it's pushing there. let's just have a check of them no nope, there's no divergence on the MACD either so um, got the potential to continue pushing upwards if we see the dollar and the pound coming down it will be all nicely working together there um, so High lows, higher highs on this uh, four alley still showing through on a steady old uh, path there, really. Um, here comes the caveat. However, <laughs> uh, untouched daily and weekly pivots below. So again, it, it really, we start seeing a breakdown of these, uh, these. This, I mean, we're just about potentially put a lower high. And if we break really the 60.21 area, that would just be a confirmation of a lower high. And maybe the daily weekly pivot could be well certainly could be in range they're not massive di uh, points away um so there's that possibility it could roll over but uh, at the moment as i said with the higher lows higher highs uh, sorry yeah high lows higher highs it lo does look like it's got some potential upside to, to continue aussie dollar 
the, it's also rolled over here let's go back to the dailies uh, not very much movement at all today but uh, nice pivot swing put in over the weekend uh, over the weekend on Friday before the weekend even uh, it's uh, got the potential uh, to sell off it's, it's had this support area around about 76 60 ish area uh, 50 ish, 50 um, we'll see how it runs if it starts breaking through that well perhaps we will be pushing down for further lows there it's as I say, it's been testing that area it's, it's just about found support over a week or so ago um, a break of that area could see down to the monthly s1 at least uh, it does look weak at where it is at the moment but uh, we'll see how the today tomorrow transpires um, we just looking at where we are here the weekly pivot is above so there is that potential uh, any any reversals here break of the daily pivot may see the weekly pivot in target but uh, with all these markets the the dollar is certainly shown its strength and uh, nonetheless in the Canadian dollar here it's uh, pushed up strongly on Friday uh, the US dollar against the Canadian dollar um, almost back towards its uh, daily 50 there which is still pointing upwards which uh, may not provide too much a resistance point if it gets there um, I say if it gets there because again we've got a weekly pivot sitting below us um, so the we just see if the dollar does soften off a bit this morning give the opportunities to these markets to come to their uh, weekly pivots in which case in this case it may be a buy, a buy potential um, with the others the euro the pound maybe sell potential uh, selling potential into those levels so not much else to say on this Canadian dollar here oil well um, I should say it really because uh, Trump uh, posted uh, did a little post on Friday didn't get much reaction but uh, suggested that uh, Saudi and OPEC are up to it again in terms of trying to push prices up yet there's ships full of oil there's oil surpluses everywhere yet they're trying to push the price up and uh, he, he, he wasn't too happy so we may get some more rhetoric coming out this week some follow-through which may in turn put pressure on the oil price it was looking like it was going to uh, push on push on upwards there uh, he was quite right in terms of the, the amount of stocks that's sitting around there and um, apparently there are um, uh, ships full of oil uh, it's artificial this price um, it may just as easily come back down um, so uh, we just need to watch that if you trade the oil, oil it's weekly pivot below and that's not that far away uh, maybe there's a bigger correction in store um, that's it for me today um, I will uh, put the uh, weekly outlook on the uh, website later on have a great day bye for now mm -hmm.